Welcome into the Recap Rush Hour for Friday, November 11th. I'm David Kaplan. I hope you had a great week and you're ready for a phenomenal weekend. Everything is brought to you by ChevyDriveChicago.com. Go to ChevyDriveChicago.com and find a Chevy dealer near you. All right, football news. We've got some concerning injury news for the Chicago Bears. The Bears and the Lions will tee it up at noon on Sunday at Soldier Field. The Bears currently a three-point favorite, but they announced today al Quddin Muhammad, one of their defensive ends, who's had a very good year since signing with the Bears as a free agent in the offseason, is listed as doubtful. Kendall Vildor, who's also had a surprisingly good season, been a much better player than I think anyone expected coming into the year. Vildor is out. And Tevin Jenkins and Jalen Johnson are both listed as questionable. Bears can ill afford to lose those two guys for Sunday's game. Uh, away from Chicago, staying in the NFL, the Bills say they are not rushing any decision on Josh Allen, their star quarterback, and his ailing elbow. So if you've got him in fantasy, they're calling it an hour-by-hour hour process before they'll determine if he can go when they play host to the Minnesota Vikings. Colts have also placed linebacker Shaquille Leonard on injured reserve. His season is probably over as he has had a little bit of a hiccup in his recovery from offseason back surgery. Uh, tough news for Nikola Vucevic of the Bulls. He was fined $15,000. He missed a shot. He said he heard something from the crowd and he reacted by giving the old number one salute and it was picked up on TV cameras. And so Vooch has been fined 15,000 bucks. He has already apologized after practice. He met with the media, stand up dude, and just said, hey, that's on me. That can't happen. Uh, Bulls are off until Sunday. Uh, resolution seen soon on Kyrie Irving. Adam Silver, the commissioner, met with Irving this week and said he came out this, from this meeting feeling, there's no way that guy's anti-Semitic. I've known him a long time. But of course, Kyrie has a number of steps he has to meet to try and get back on the Brooklyn Nets. Baseball, how about this one? The Mets signed their star closer, Edwin Diaz, five years, 102 million. But some of the money is back loaded till 2042. And he has a club option for 2028 that could make the deal worth over 118 million bucks. A lot of players are backloading deals now, saying, you know what? Push the money down the road. I'm making great money now, and who knows where I'll be in 20 years. I'd like to have that pot of money waiting for me at interest, by the way. And the Astros have turned uh, their GM down on a contract proposal. They made him an offer that he said was not what he was looking for. He countered. They said, no, out. You win the World Series, and James Click is gone after turning down their contract offer. I hope you have an awesome weekend. Click that QR code right there. We're over 40,000 subscribers at 50. I'm giving away another 70-inch TV from Apt Electronics and two more $100 gift cards from Lou Malnati's. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I appreciate you. Take that.